YouTube salute. Here's my fight prediction. Triple G versus Steve Rose. Man, you know I'm about to go in. Let's go. So, Steve Rose, he has 19 wins, no losses, 10 KOs, zero draws, um, a 53% KO. Um, he's 5'9", his 72-inch reach, orthodox stance. He's um, out of Toronto, um, Ontario, Canada. 35 years old. His birthday just passed in April. Triple G, 38 wins, one loss, coming to Canelo in their rematch. 34 KOs, one draw. That's coming to Canelo also in their first fight. Um, 85% KO percentage, 5 foot 10. He has a 70 inch reach, orthodox. And man. This fight right here, uh, I didn't really give it too much hype, too much concern, or too much breakdown, but I'm just going to be honest. You never know what's going to happen. Everybody sees and feels Triple G should just walk through Rose. I watched some tape of Rose, some of his training, some of his previous fights. He's a, he can fight, but do I see him upsetting Triple G? No, but Andy Riaz just upset a Joshua. Um, Jared Hurd just got upset by um, Julian um, Williams. Um, Usyk almost beat Sean Porter. I still thought he beat Sean Porter. Um, things have been happening this year in boxing that a lot of people are surprised. And, you know, oh, my God, look at this, look at that, look at this. So you never know what can happen in a fight. I believe Triple G, his new trainer, Abel Sanchez is gone. He should have not an advantage, but I would like to see his new style now. How is he going to have more head movement? Is he going to actually be executing more of a jab, more throwing more combinations? I would like to see Triple G work the body. You know, um, I want to see that. I want to see how Steve Rose... Is he able to um, move, maneuver, move around Triple G, throw combinations, go in and out, in and out, in and out? I think that's what he needs to do. That's my personal opinion. I think he needs to earn and get his respect early, but be very careful not making mistakes and letting Triple G hit you with an um, overhand right that you might not see coming. Um, I believe Triple G on his end, Still fight the same type of fight he fights, but at the same time, he needs to mix it up. Steve Rose is playing with house money, so right now, he needs to go in there, do what he needs to do. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, if he lose, I mean, like what? He'll just have one loss, and I'm not trying to say he can lose or win. I don't know what's going to happen. If I had to predict, I predict Triple G should beat this um guy in the seventh round, TKO. TKO in the seventh round. Um, do I believe Steve Rose can can beat Triple G? Yeah. I mean, she ain't think it happen. Um, I believe Steve Rose can win maybe by decision, but that's going to be hard because he it means he has to fight a, a consistent fight nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Um, yeah, I, I just believe this is gonna this is gonna be an interesting fight. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Um, you wanna watch the fight, y'all? It will be on the the zone app. I'm not gonna do live commentary this Saturday for the fight. I'm gonna be at a um auntie's birthday party, so my apologies. But I will be making up with um other fights because I'll be in town for that. But yeah, I just want to give you my fight prediction: Triple G in the seventh round TKO. Yo, that's my fight prediction. What is your fight prediction? What do you think? Do you think um, Steve Rose can upset Triple G? Can he um, ha take on the momentum of all these people that's been upsetting the, um, the top champions? Do you think Triple G is going to walk through Rose so he can look for an easy, um, not an easy fight, but a, a trilogy with Canelo, which I doubt they have a trilogy? Post your comments below. Hoax Smash Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. I go live. 
you like to support and donate to my channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace, everyone.